Hello and welcome to Gardena. More and more garden owners are getting a robotic mower so that their green space always looks neat ah, and they don't have to push a mower around the garden. But before you make yourself comfortable in the deck chair, you can see the little helper at work. You need to lay the cable accordingly. This boundary wire prevents the robot from mowing where it shouldn't, such as in flower beds around solitary shrubs and bushes, as well as trees or simply where you want to leave a wild meadow. Today, we're going to focus on exactly these obstacles in the lawn. We'll show you how to skillfully lay the wire around obstacles in the garden. Have fun with it! We bought the Gardena Seleno robotic mower two years ago. We've linked our test video on this below for you to check out. Here we obviously had to lay both the boundary wire and a guide wire. In this example, we want to show you how to lay the wire around obstacles. By the way, we've tested several robotic mowers this year and last that operate completely without wires. Everything here works via GPS and sensors. Feel free to check out the test videos. You can find the links below in the video description. Do you have a lawn area or obstacles like our flower bed? In the middle of the lawn area, laying the wire is super easy. Once around the outside and connected at the other end of the charging station, done. You just need to make sure to create a loop with the guide wire at the designated connection point. Do you have, like us, an island, basically an obstacle in the middle of your lawn? It's also quite easy to solve. Here you take the wire shortest distance to the obstacle straight. Next, the wire is laid around the obstacle and then continued with a very small distance. The same route back. Then it continues along the edge. The lawnmower will now drive over the two wires. It's important here that the cables do not cross each other in so they shouldn't be too far apart. By the way, you can also install it afterwards. Here, for example, you can cut the existing cable with side cutters and use connection terminals along with some new boundary wire. In other words, add an extra loop. We have a suitable repair or expansion kit linked below the video. Are the cables laid out correctly according to the user manual? And if you haven't forgotten any areas, where the lawn mower should or shouldn't go, it will now mow perfectly. We hope you enjoyed this little video. If so, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. If you're more of a fan of the written word and are interested in gardening, feel free to check out our gardening magazine at www.gardensile.de. Until next time.